So I have a question because since I keep timing my shot early, what's the point of this setting right here? Set your preferred time release to preferred time to release the button during the shot. What's the point of it being early? Oh, a deeper with the steal. We're on the break. Bam, keep rolling. Bam's to the basket. That's an offensive foul, but they don't call it. Bam out of bio. All this, I ain't making no damn cuts because you're going to see, even though you already know, this will probably go in the beginning of the video. There are all the stats. This is 100% on Hall of Fame. After I get through all these cutscenes, I mean, uh, loading screens, there we go. Pause menu, all the way to options, settings, Hall of Fame difficulty. All right, after round one, this is what the NBA playoffs are looking like. We have some upsets. The fifth-seeded Raptors beat the fourth-seeded Celtics in six games. I am very disappointed about that because I felt like if we faced the Celtics, I could have uploaded, like, every game. Now, I don't think the Raptors are going to give us much of a challenge. They are a good team, but we're a lot better. So I'm assuming another one episode, uh, one game, one episode, and we're going to the conference finals. Uh, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The team I thought could give us the second biggest fight lost to the seven seeded Pacers. Some they they I know the Pacers are good with Bradley Beal, but they lost to the Pacers. The Brooklyn Nets are just gonna wax them, even though for some reason Patty Mills is starting at shooting guard and he's um, doing amazing in the playoffs. The Nets are gonna wax forward them. The Timberwolves beat the Grizzlies in six. Uh, the Rockets beat the Clippers in five. That is because uh, Kawhi Leonard was hurt. Um, the Thunder beat the Mavericks because Luka was literally alone. And Shea is hurt, so that's interesting. And the Sacramento Kings beat the Golden State Warriors in seven. That's kind of a surprise, not going to lie, bars. Um, but the Kings, moving on to the second round, they're already down 1-0 to the Thunder. So if my prediction, I think it's going to be Minnesota, OKC, Miami, Brooklyn. It's going to be 1-3 versus 1-3. Hopefully the finals might be OKC Miami, Tyler Hero versus his old team, or it could be uh, Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards versus Bam, Jimmy, and um, Gerald Johnson. But without further ado, let's get into this game. So before we start the game, as you know, in last, um, last episode, I've been struggling with my jump shot. And as you can see, the shooting splits for the playoffs are not looking so hot. And that is because, one, I got a request to use the um, shot meter off. I did that for a game. Did terrible. Uh, that is because I simulated this game. These two games were miserable. This game, at the end of it, I used the uh, shot meter off. I ended up going 5 for 12 from downtown, but 11 for 26 from the field. And this game actually went into overtime. And I shot 12 for 43 and 3 for 28 from 3. Yeah, you, yeah, that's correct. 3 for 28 from 3. So that not just showing that shooting is not a strong suit. So I'm going to avoid shooting um, a lot of shots in this game. I mean, a lot of threes mainly. I'll probably try to limit myself to five. If I go one for five, I won't take any more unless it's wide open. We're off to a good start so far in this game. And eight's going to continue. Nine first quarter points. I have hit a three so far in this game. Jimmy Butler gets the rebound, goes on the break, and I throw up. The little layup. I prefer layups more than dunks, to be honest, in this game. They're just nicer. They're just a lot nicer. I have I forgot whose dunk package I have on. I think it's Russell Westbrook's. But Scotty Barnes. Wow, that could have been an offensive foul on Bam. But it wasn't, so I will take it. Uh, speaking of Bam, uh, score that point in the bucket. That's my first assist of the game. 11-2 run to start, and the Raptors need to call a timeout. Oh, a deeper with the steal. We're on the break. Bam, keep rolling. Bam's to the basket. That's an offensive foul, but they don't call it. Bam out of bio. Gets away with two fouls. He literally just shoved Scotty Barnes. They must have thought he flopped. Oh, I almost had that steal. Scotty Barnes is playing hurt. I just noticed that. Bam out of bio on Scotty Barnes. We got we got the matchup there. We actually match up with this team perfectly. It's really the Siakam and What's his call? Yurtsevin matchup that worries me a little bit. Bam out of bio on Scotty Barnes. He's going to the line. But yeah, if you look on paper, me versus Van Vliet matches up pretty well. You got Old Depot versus Gary Payton Jr. You have uh, Jimmy Butler versus OG, Bam versus Scotty, and Yurt versus Siakam. Match up pretty damn well. It's not the matchup I wanted. I preferred to face the Celtics because they would have given us a lot better of a fight than the Raptors are doing right now. But yeah, yeah, can't have everything, especially in 2K where. Nothing goes your way. That was a bad shot, to be brutally honest with you. I will take full 
uh, blame for that release. Because I guarantee you, if I got that release right, I actually might have made it. Jimmy Butler gives it to Bam. That's an easy dunk. All right, I'm being sent to the bench. We have a 25-5 to 5 lead. And we now have 35-11 to 11 lead. Yeah, this is not going well. And I can't show you my difficulty, of course. I didn't know I could have defensive settings. I can't show you my difficulty, of course. But you know it's Hall of Fame. But, bro, 24 point. The Celtics scheme would have been a lot closer if it was the Celtics, 2K. But I guess I'll deal with the Raptors and the fact that we're up by 20 plus. Well, we got team takeover. And I've exhausted my five three point shot limit. I've hit two out of five. Uh, I'm not going to lie. A few of them I should have hit. Ooh, got the pump fake on Boucher. I want to say at least two of them I should have greened, but I messed up the release. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll take 40% so far. I ain't taking another one unless I'm wide open or I know I can hit it. Mainly if I'm wide open, I'm not moving. My feet are set. I'll take it. If not, then I ain't taking it. Yeah, this game is not going the way the Raptors probably have hoped. Oh, I get the pass through. Bam, at a bio. With another dunk. That's his, what, 17th point, I believe? We are up by 30, man. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. Yurtsevin. And he draws the foul. Van Vliet missed the free throw. I'm going straight to the paint. That's an easy layup. 16 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists on the day so far. 40% from 3. I don't know what I'm shooting from the field, but I'm assuming... I only had three missed shots. Ooh, almost got the steal there. I need to start, like, jumping on that, to be honest. Because I'm not tall enough. Yurt, don't get crossed up. You get the block. Big Yurt. Go straight to the paint with the lay. 18 points. And we are up by, what is that, 33? 33 point lead, 73% from the field in 12 minutes. Van Vliet has been ice cold since the first quarter. Boucher going into the paint. Gives it out to Van Vliet. I am not allowing this man to get on ice. Don't let him heat up. Boucher from downtown. Jimmy with the rebound. Bars. Bam. Boucher's cold. Driving to the paint. You have, you have Van Vliet on you. Okay. I'll set up the post for you then. Because apparently you don't want to do it on your own. Alright. Bam. In the post. That should be easy. What the? Bam. Bam. What was that? I'm going to sub that. We have 20... Nine point lead, as you can tell by my monotone voice. And that is not a 34 point lead. I saw Caleb Martin at 15 off the bench. My god, I was looking for some competition, but I might I might move Gerald to uh my league at this point so I can make it harder. Cause my god, man, this is Hall of Fame. This is Hall of Fame, really? So far in this game, the Raptors are shooting 27% as a team. That is not gonna win. Wow, okay. Well, that's something. Bam. Good job getting the ball back. Depot right into the paint. That's an easy lay. It wasn't that easy. But yeah, they're shooting 27% as a team in this game. And Ken Birch has 12 of their 33 points off the bench. Because their starters are doing absolutely squat. Also, do you guys realize how irritating it is to have a guy guard you this close from that distance? Like, it makes it impossible to score. It makes it impossible to score out sh outside shots. It really does. I don't... Uh, Honestly, if I'm blowing out teams on Hall of Fame, I'm better off just lowering the difficulty so I can at least have fun and hit shots. At this point, because look, they're guarding me. I understand I'm a shooter, but they're guarding me face up at the half court line. How am I supposed to have fun? How am I supposed to hit shots if they're defending me at half court all over me? It doesn't make sense. Now I'm getting subbed out. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense, man. It doesn't. I've got 34 points, 9 rebounds, 10 assists. I'm one rebound away from another playoff triple-double, so I have my goal in mind. I have my goal for this game as Jimmy Butler with the steal. Let him run the court or not. Okay, that's fine as they double-team me. Okay, Dante wide open. In this, this dude missed. Oh, my God. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it, Siakam. Shoot it. There it is. Another triple-double in the books. Second playoff triple-double. I've only got one in my regular season career, I have now doubled that in the playoffs. Jimmy Butler, cap it off with another assist. That's going to do it. We're up by 53 points, man. I'll see you guys in the conference finals next episode. Give me that. And that's going to do it. We're going to walk out of Miami with a 65-121 to victory here in game one. 
What a game. 56 point victory. You know damn well I'm not recording any more episodes of this series because I don't think I've ever beaten a team this badly in 2K. Final box score, 40-point triple-double for Gerald Johnson. Had three steals on a day and a block. 15 for 23 from the field, 4 for 11 from three. Still struggling from downtown. Uh, 21 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and a block for Jimmy Butler. What a game for Himmy Butler. Caleb Martin off the bench is what sparked this huge lead. Uh, 21 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 blocks on 7 for 9 shooting, 2 for 3. From downtown, Bam Adebayo had 16 and 8, but his night was cut short because we were up so much he didn't even play that fourth quarter. Alex Len had a great game off the bench. Yurtsevin had two blocks, eight rebounds, and then no one else really did much besides the big four over here. Apparently, Caleb Martin balling out, and their scoring leader was Kevin Birch with 16, who played 15 minutes. Pascal had 13 points, five for 12. Van Vliet 11 points, three for 15, 0 for 9 from downtown. AC Burks 9 points, who is their rookie, I believe. Uh, yes, they're a rookie. Scotty Barnes, 2 for 14. Gary Trent Jr., 2 for 7. This team, as a whole, made 21 shots compared to our 46. They shot 27% from the field, 2 for 28 from 3, 7%. They did shoot 32 free throws, so that's a lot. Uh, our bench outscored their bench by only 8 points, but we had 70 points in the paint compared to 28. But I will show you that this is indeed on Hall of Fame. After I skip through all this, I ain't making no damn cuts because you're going to see, even though you already know, this will probably go in the beginning of the video. There are all the stats. This is 100% on Hall of Fame. After I get through all these cutscenes, I mean, uh, loading screens, there we go, pause menu, all the way to options, settings, Hall of Fame, difficulty. That's going to be for me. GG.